Hi everyone. I have here a Vimsers generator. Uh, it's essentially these two circles uh, with various inducting pieces on them. And when I turn this crank on the back, uh, those pieces will rotate past each other. And there are these uh, metal brushes connecting to those conducting pieces. The internal mechanism is all very complicated and not terribly important. But the end result is that when I turn this crank, each of these spheres is going to start to be charged up. One of them is going to gain positive charge, the other is going to gain negative charge. So I can charge those up, and it's as though both of these spheres were walking across a thick carpet. And now if I bring those spheres close together, it's like each of these spheres has just touched a doorknob as a discharge. Now if I start with these spheres kind of close together, and I rotate this crank, there's going to be an electric field between the two that's going to increase the more charge on each of these spheres. If that electric field reaches a certain level, uh, then the air between the spheres breaks down and they're allowed to discharge. Um, and once they discharge, charge will start building up again on the spheres, and so we get a pretty continuous effect, like this. You can see much better in the dark. If I bring them closer together, those discharges will be smaller and more frequent. If I bring them farther apart, it gets really impressive, because those discharges will be less frequent, but significantly larger rather lightning-like. See if I can get it even farther apart. Not quite. The limit how much charge these spheres can carry. And when I want to put this device away, I can just bring them close together and now they're discharged. That's a Vimshurst generator.